My name is Phyllis Smith. I am the historian of Mount Olive Cemetery, which means that I um, research the history of the cemetery, how it became a cemetery. I uh, research who's in the cemetery because over 90% of our graves are um, do not have headstones, they're unmarked. And I also research the lives of the people buried in our cemetery. One of the things you can do when you're here is um, we have um, those little code boxes that you can put your um, camera on and it, one of them takes you to the website of Mount Olive Cemetery Historical Preservation Society. The other one takes you to what we call our story map. And there is on one of the walls in here a copy of the story map. And what that does is it shows you the positions of our veterans' graves in the cemetery. Our cemetery is 7.24 acres off of Cumberland Drive. We have uh, 32 veterans buried in the cemetery, and there's an estimate that we have 1,350 people buried in the cemetery, although I do believe that that's a conservative estimate. Um, one of the things in um, researching the U.S. color troops that um, we found out is the fact that one regiment of U.S. Colored Troops, the 101st U.S. Colored Troops, had their regimental headquarters in Clarksville during the last year of the Civil War. And they used a house in Clarksville that was known as the Pettus House, not then but later, um, for their regimental headquarters. That house stood where the Dunn Center is today, and it was demolished to make room for the Dunn Center. Um, we have reproductions of two of the uh, U.S. Colored Tree headstones here. Um, they're kind of plain headstones, but they all have the same thing. They have a shield for the U.S. Colored Troop, and then the information on the U.S. color troop inside, which is his name and the unit that he was a member of. Not all of our U.S. color troops have um, these headstones. Um, their families would have to um, request that the U.S. government give them that headstone. We have currently two U.S. color troops that we know are buried in the cemetery and we don't know where in the cemetery they're buried because their families did not request those headstones and they did not get them. In the center, um, you see a picture in the back um, of a lone soldier there. That basically is a picture of the U.S. Colored Troop statue that will be at Fort Defiance and will be dedicated in June of this year. Mount Olive um, Cemetery Historical Preservation Society so much wanted to honor these men that we wanted to put a monument up for them in really the most suitable place in Clarksville, which is our um, lone remaining Civil War fort of the three that were built in the city. Whenever we have a cleanup, um, we seem to always find more headstones and um, sometimes when I go and research our U.S. Colored Troops, um, I find that there is another U.S. Colored Troop buried in there, simply because uh, the community of U.S. Colored Troops after the war in Clarksville was a very close community. And what you find is that when one of them uh, put in an application for a pension, he would have to have depositions from comrades from that unit saying, yes, he served. So you get names of other U.S. colored troops that served that way, and some of them have turned out to be buried in Mount Olive, but have, um, and that's another aspect of our research. Um, basically, not only do we research the persons in our cemetery, but we also, um, are trying to 
identify all the U.S. color tree veterans that settled in uh, Montgomery County. Mount Olive Cemetery Historical Preservation Society really think, thanks Austin Pease GIS Center for their contribution to making this happen reality. Without them, we wouldn't have that.